Ah, 1930, where the men were men and the carriages were horseless. All this uh, work reminded me of a joke. It's got six holes and doesn't run. This thing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that's it. <clears throat> She's not running. <laughs> so what we <laughs> So what we have here. Hello, welcome back to the show. <laughs> Today, what we got here is we've got a a six a six piston uh a three ish three ish liter uh this engine displacement uh cubic cubic uh, cubic engine inches uh we've uh, uh um we've got here a six cylinder straight six 1930 chevrolet product a stove bolt overhead cam motor very cool piece of gear we had a little bit you can see here the astute eagle-eyed viewer will notice that one of these is not like the other <laughs> so what we've got here is some really interesting is some interesting old gear um i thought i thought y'all might get a kick out of this so i come over here what i want to show you is that what we have is we've got two valves per cylinder uh, a, a six cylinder motor two valves per cylinder this is the head uh, water, water's up here. Water jacket is is inside of this. Um, here's the here's the valve, uh, the valve in question. Uh, we're gonna turn this on the lathe, and and check the run out. Um, I'm gonna say that what happened here might just be a result of this thing not actually being straight. That maybe this happened before, or maybe this isn't completely straight. Um, so what the failure mode here was was that there's a hat, this hat, and then what we can see down on the inside of here, what we can see here is this pin. There's a cross pin, right? There's a cross pin that goes in that slot. This is sitting like this and the, the top of the head. That cross pin is sitting there. And what our failure mode was, was this. So this has a slot, has a slot in it, which looks like it's made for that cross pin but it's not so this uh this cross pin slowly ate, ate a hole in this slot and then failed and allowed this uh and allowed this co to come completely unsprung and on captive and then this this valve was just floating floating on top of the cylinder now what we don't know is if this is completely if this is completely straight like i said we can check this up and check and check whether or not it's concentric but it's not really going to do us a lot of good it's all of a seven dollar part we can just put it back we would just get another one and put it back in the car um but something that's cool nice little detail here nice little detail blast from the past is that there's a chevy bow tie on the inside of the valve i mean no one would ever see this piece of gear this could go this car could go its entire life and never have the head off of it and and no one would ever see that it's a chevrolet valve but i just think that that's super cool uh, days days of production past and speaking of days of production past take a look at some of these head bolts sorry i'm out of frame for a second but if we take a look at some of these head bolts we can see some i mean just beautiful beautiful machining really super flat surfaces and then nice stamped ground ground perfectly flat with a chamfered with a chamfered edge on top i mean just gorgeous and then what do we have here but we've got a perfect perfect machine threads and then we've got a heel helical cut two helical cuts that run up the entire shaft of the bolt and create a pathway for oil to to migrate into this and keep this from rusting in position from rusting on and rusting together on uh, on the head it's just that there's there's some really cool pieces of design and, and, a, and a and a piece of technology that's close to you know that's close to close to 100 years old uh and uh, we can take a look at the valve train up here it comes in two halves 
Um, and all we're really doing, not doing a whole lot here. These rods are all nice and straight. We already checked them. What we're doing here, we're not doing a whole lot. All we're doing is we're gonna clean some of this stuff up and we're just using a little bit of degreaser on here, cleaning some of this, cleaning some of this up. And then uh, all of this stuff is in perfectly good shape. We're just gonna put it right back in the service. Um, this is two halves. We've got the back and we got the front over here. This is clearly labeled, it's labeled on the other side. And then we've got an oiler. This sits in between the two. Oil comes up from the bottom of the engine and sprays into this and it runs down the length of these two tubes here and oils and oils that whole valve system it's a really cool really cool old piece of kit um it's just beautiful beautifully machined nicely made stuff it's all made to be serviced it's made to be worked on you can go back over the engine bay over here sorry it is a little it is a little cluttered but if we can go back over the engine bay over here we can see a lot of this stuff was in uh was really in fairly good shape um was really in fairly good shape thankfully a lot of this came apart and we were able to just take it down into pieces and take all the uh, and take the accessories off uh carb sitting down there all luckily all we're going to need to do is just replace a couple of gaskets um but if i bring this in uh stand by let me do a little camera correction here So now we're looking right over top of the motor and what we can see is that down on the inside of that uh, uh, the only thing the only thing that happened to this was when that failed is that all we did all we really did was wear off a little copper or I'm sorry copper yeah we wore we wore off just the carbon the carbon ring from the top of the cylinder cylinder walls are in great shape there's nothing down here there's no we I turned this over um right as it sits there's no there's no edges down here these these walls are nice and smooth so everything that we have here is really in good shape uh we're gonna pull the pan we're gonna pull some oil out of it and make sure we don't have any copper in there but this thing's this thing's gonna be good to go one more thing i want to show you you have to forgive me uh as a for the really eccentric the eccentric way that we're filming this but right down here we've got the transmission this thing was pretty pretty well covered in road grease road grime and just grease uh so we're degreasing all this too but what we have here is a non-synchro non-synchro transmission so we've got a three speed with a reverse um it's a pretty cool system uh without the synchros i mean we just have we just got a uh, uh, a round cut gear um or uh, i'm sorry a square cut gear and they just index index with each other and the only thing that's in there is just some very 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 heavy gear oil uh and actually that whole tube that whole shaft that has a drive shaft in it but that whole shaft is 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 filled with gear oil as well so it's a pretty cool system and uh, it thermal cycles from from front to back because that goes all the way back to the pumpkin but um yeah it's a pretty it, it's a pretty cool system but a lot of this uh <laughs> being 100 years old i'll probably be pretty leaky too but a lot of this stuff that's in it is really just leaking out of it so a fairly new battery in here um and it, it was it was running just fine took it on a long trip and um and that's all that happened we ended up uh, having a having a valve issue go there but it's a pretty cool uh pretty cool ride and we're gonna we're gonna keep her going so that's it for today i just wanted to do a quick uh quick quick little show you what's going on with this thing it's a pretty cool old ride um i like it a lot but hey if you like the video like the video and uh, i'll catch you in the next one